game uh, move the snowmobile for me. It's puzzled me a little bit. And it, it's usually where you leave it, but uh, the game looks like it moved it up there. I guess it didn't like it being right next to the doors. By the way, you remember what Kimberly said about the monsters not being able to attack us when we were riding on a snowmobile? Yeah, she was wrong. So yeah, when monsters attack us, we can ju we just get off the snowmobile and fight the monsters. And since we're done with that boss battle, we're not holding back on using the shotgun anymore. Especially since these are upgraded enemies. Since we're on disc 2, the enemies are more powerful versions of what we've been seeing already. But the shotgun is far more powerful than the, uh, than the submachine guns, so we make short work of them. This is another reason why you want to pick up as much shotgun ammo as possible, just because it, the shotgun really is far more powerful. It would have taken a lot of shots with the machine gun to actually make a dent in those, on, uh, those enemies. And here's a new kind of enemy. They fly. And they're annoying, because they, they're kind of hard to hit. And you usually see them in threes. Two shotgun shots will take them down. But if they attack, they shoot this... I don't know what, what that is. It's like a ball of plasma or something. It messes up your vision for a couple seconds. There are two disadvantages to using the snowmobile. One is that you can't hunt. You can't shoot your hunting rifle from the back of the snowmobile, unfortunately. Even though that sounds like that could be pretty cool. And here are three enemies at once. Uh, let's actually use the grenade and see, uh, show you what that does. I'm sorry, the gabomb. As I said, it's the automatic win button. Kills everything in one hit. Doesn't work on bosses, of course, just normal enemies. So if you want to get out of a, of a fight without really fighting, use a Gabomb. They're going to be very handy towards the end of the game. Uh, so I said there are two disadvantages to using the snowmobile. One is that you can't hunt and get meats. The other is that you can't pick up items while you're on the snowmobile. If you see an item and you want to pick it up, you have to get off the snowmobile. You have to stop it first and get off. So you move fast, but you're limited into what you can actually do when you're riding the thing. Mercus! Mercus, what are you doing back here? So that uh, eyeball shoulder enemy, it's an upgraded version of what we had on disc one. Because that thing appeared, but it uh, was a weaker version. And we're out of the shotgun shells. Mercus, I've had enough of you. So let's put down Mercus again. So as you can see, the miners become a normal enemy, even though we're no longer in the mine. And you also saw that I went up another level. Which means that I am underleveled for this point in the game. I, didn't, I haven't uh, killed too many enemies, because I haven't had to explore. I haven't had to... Uh, Try to figure out what to do next. I, I know where to go, so I'm just going straight there. As such, I am a bit under-leveled for what's expected at this point in the game. But here we are at Ken's Observatory, so let's have a look. And yes, that is a keypad that we can see right there. First, we'll pick up the first aid spray. And this is where we need our six-digit passcode before we can ride the longest escalator in the world.
Kind of a strange layout for an observatory. Well, let's see what happens here. Fortunately, Kimberly isn't around, so surely that must mean there's no chance of a lengthy cutscene starting.